Hello, I'm Chip Godwin with Drake Software. I'm going to talk to you today about a few of the common things we hear from our prospective customers when they get a demo. So starting off, I've got a fresh install of the Drake TAC Software demo program, and I've just opened it up. And the first thing it wants to know is a password for the administrator. And this is quite common. We get a lot of people who set the password that's assigned to them for their website access on there in their demo account, or they're not sure what we're looking for. It's very simple. This is going to be the password that you're going to use for the administrator account for the TAC software. It's very important you remember what you set up because this is difficult to recover if you don't. It does need to have eight characters, at least one uppercase character, one number, and one special character, for example, an exclamation point. Very standard uh, requirements for passwords nowadays online. So we'd like you to take a moment and go ahead and set this up. You got to verify the information. So you go ahead and key it in a second time and then you click next, choose a security question. Again, what street did you grow up on? You can see a few of these options here. Uh, hopefully one of these should work for you. I'm going to simply choose my mother's maiden name. I click finish and now I'm logged in and the first thing the software wants to check for is updates. So we can go ahead and click OK. This is quite common. After installing updates, the software will reopen. And in our case, it's going to take you to the EF and account information set up as a demo customer. So you're going to key in your account number, your EFIN, which was assigned to you as a demo account, is going to start with an E, not your real EFIN and your e-file password which was emailed to you and you can also access through the Drake support website where you downloaded the demo. Uh, you can hit cancel if you don't even want to set that up. If you want to jump right into the software, you can go ahead and do that. Start playing with the returns. You can go to open slash create, type in a dummy social or EIN and create a return from scratch and you don't have to set anything, any of these up. In my case, I want to show you a few things to set up and, and some of the common things that occur during that process. So let's start with the firm information right here. We're going to type in our EFIN and our firm name. And just fill in the rest of the information just like you would. And this is what we'll print at the bottom of tax returns. You can hit save and that's set up. That's it. Very simple to set that up. You will probably still get some diagnostic messages. That's okay. You're in the demo program. We're not too worried about diagnostics about electronic filing numbers not being updated properly in the software. You can't e-file live returns with the demo software. Once you purchase the program, we can get that taken care of for you very quickly. Let's also set up an additional preparer in the system. And I'm going to show you two ways to do this. We're going to go with the quick setup right here. And you'll notice that after I set this up, it gives me a couple quick options for security right here on the screen, right at the bottom, security options. Because I'm setting myself up, I'm going to give myself all options. You notice I didn't key in a password the first time I log in as chip. I will have to set up a password. And that is the quick setup of the software from a demo standpoint. If you ever want to get back to setting up any of that information in the software, if you go up here to the top of the screen, there is a menu option that says setup. And right here you can choose to go ahead and click setup. And you can go down and set up your preparer, your options, your firm, your pricing. Anything you want to set up in the software can be done right here. Real quick, if you go back to prepares, you're going to notice it looks a little different. Under here, you have the admin account we set up. We also have chip. If I bring up chip, you'll notice the screen looks a little different. When you're setting up security for your preparers, you can go down to customize that security and really choose what they have access to in the program by going custom security. If you're just setting yourself up and you are the admin or you're a single preparer office, you can just give yourself administrator rights or all options and you're good to go.
That's the basics of setting up the demo software today. I want to thank you for watching this video. My name is Chip Godwin. I'm with Drake Software. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.